Good afternoon. The commencement ceremony for the Departments of Anthropology and Sociology, Biology, Marine Biology, Environmental Science, Chemistry and Physics, Mathematics, Politics, and International Relations, Psychology, and Public Health in the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Sciences will now begin. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you. My name is Ben Greenstein, and I'm the dean of the school, and I'll emcee the proceedings this afternoon. As you may imagine, putting together a single university commencement followed by eight individual school ceremonies involved the hard work of staff from virtually all the units of the university. Specifically, I'd like to thank members of the RDBU events staff, administrative staff, and academic affairs, and members of the registrar's office for their hard work. Most especially, I would like to thank the members of the school's Student Commencement Committee. The committee was composed of student representatives from departments in the school. Cassandra Ceresia, <laughs> Riley Clyde, <laughs> Maeve Haldeman, <laughs> Tobias Petey, Noah Shouty and Jessica Taddeo provided guidance to me as we refined this afternoon's proceedings, including whether or not the grass would be mowed during No Mow May. I had no idea the impact on allergy sufferers. Anyway, uh, our meetings on Monday honestly were the highlight of my day this past semester. Thanks also to the SSNS Administrative Assistant, Kelly Meyer. who staffed the committee and kept me on task. And in fact, if you think about how this all began, today's proceedings would not be taking place had Ms. Meyer not been here to tell you we were about to take place. Okay. A very important group of people has made this celebration possible, and it consists of the families of the students that we honor. The myriad ways in which our students have been supported by you have been invaluable. Thank you parents, grandparents, siblings, extended family, and members of other uh, relatives of the family for allowing the faculty and I the privilege of educating the class of 2023. Students, if you are able, I invite you to stand, turn around and face your families and give them a warm thanks. It always has been my honor and privilege to be the Dean of the Faculty in the School of Social and Natural Sciences. It's humbling to witness the faculty's dedication to the students as they foster teaching and learning, all while genuinely and actively caring about each student's well-being beyond the classroom. I ask everyone to join me in thanking this remarkable group of faculty. I would now like to ask Associate Dean Dr. Annika Hagley to come forward for the presentation of the President's Core Values Medallion Honorees. Hello. <laughs> um, it is my great honor to award three of our students with the President's Core Values Medallion. Our students have exemplified our core values through inclusive, innovative, engaged, experiential, and transformational academic and co-curricular achievement throughout their four years. Congratulations to our recipients and their families, friends, and faculty. This year, we have three worthy awardees from the School of Social and Natural Sciences. Our first Core Values Medallion recipient is Geraldine Ramirez.
Geraldine is an anthropology sociology major with a minor in cultural studies and entered Roger Williams as an intercultural leadership ambassador. In her time at Roger Williams, Geraldine has served as a new student and family orientation guide, a resident assistant, a writing tutor, and as the president of the Multicultural Students' Union. She also served as a resident assistant to the RISE program, supporting a diverse group of incoming students in their transition to college academics and life. Aside from the incredible energy that Geraldine brought to these campus roles, she has gone above and beyond in terms of service to the community. She worked in Washington, D.C. as an intern to the Commission on Immigration, an intern to the Black and Latino Caucus at the Rhode Island State House, and as an intern in the law office of Jose F. Batista in Providence. She also served as a victim service intern with the Rhode Island Attorney General's Office. In addition to her experiences and services in the United States, Geraldine studied in the Dominican Republic under the Social Justice in Hispaniola program and traveled to Vietnam through the Political Cultures and Contact program. All of this while maintaining an incredible academic performance and good standing in the honors program. I had the pleasure of speaking with some of the faculty and, faculty and administrators who Geraldine is close to on campus. They spoke of a quiet, unassuming person who is sincere and openly shares thanks with those who support her, and as somebody who devotes the intense work ethic she has to other students. Geraldine is the tutor in the writing center that has the most student visits in four years. Because when it's someone is as focused, intellectually rigorous, kind, open, and inclusive as she is, and the work they do, meaningfully reflects that word spreads quickly. Hundreds of students have reached out for her support and she has given them her all. As a school, we are delighted and honored to award the Presidential Core Values Medallion to Geraldine Ramirez. <laughs> oh, you have it. Yeah. <laughs> Our second recipient is Cassandra Ceresia. Cass is an honor student, triple major in marine biology, aquaculture and aquarium sciences and chemistry, and will also graduate with a minor in professional and public writing. She has maintained an incredibly impressive GPA during her heavy workload, and is walking across this stage with 181 credits. <laughs> the acquisition of which... <laughs> the acquisition of which is a stunning achievement. Even more impressively, Cass has led a full and enriching college life in terms of extracurriculars and supporting her peers and the university as a whole. She is focused and passionate about biology, currently serves as the president of Beta Beta Biology Honors, and traveled to New York to talk to high school students about research opportunities in biology at Roger Williams. In terms of those research opportunities, Cass took full advantage and worked with Professor Chris Burtner on a thesis project, let me get this right, investigating genetic modifications to the rotifer Brachinus pellicatus, ah, good enough. <laughs> which I googled for us non-biologists. It's a favoured test animal in marine biology because of its particular sensitivity to toxicants. You're welcome. <laughs> this work has so far resulted in four poster presentations at various scientific conferences, a spoken presentation at RW Weekly Research Seminar, and three grants, two internal and one from the National Biologists Honor Society. Perhaps the most humbling aspect of Cass's extraordinary performance at Roger Williams has been her intense desire to share her passion for biology and for the university with others in a way that excites and supports them, as well as introducing them to the field through the experience of an engaged and excited student. Cass has served as an honors ambassador, a peer tutor, and took part in programs to build skills as a tutor which truly support the most marginalized students on campus. Finally, she served as a lab facilitator of the marine phycology classes. Do <laughs> doing her job in normal hours, but also creating extra lab opportunities by her own initiative, forming a group of seniors to run review sessions for the intro level classes. I spoke with Cass's advisor, Paul Webb, who cited this as a truly meaningful way in which Cass firstly revived interest in the biology honors club then set about rebuilding a sense of community within the biology department. 
um, using her incredible passion and motivation for her field to restore something that had been somewhat lost amongst the post-COVID recovery. Dr. Webb described Cass as curious, engaged, friendly, and a truly empathetic scholar who has shown the capacity to maintain their own excellent work while seeking meaningful opportunities to support the community around her. As a school, we are delighted and honoured to award the Presidential Core Values Medallion to Cassandra Ceresia. The final recipient of our Core Values Medallion is one of my babies, so I may cry, is <laughs> Josias Kiroa. Josias is a first-generation college student and a double major in political science and legal studies. He has been a much-needed and incredibly influential presence on our campus. Josias has served as a senior student assistant in the Office of Financial Aid, a Title IX deputy, a resident assistant for the Black and Latinx Living Learning Community, and a member of the Admissions Diversity Board. He was also a member of the Hispanic and Latinx Association and the Barbershop Club a club founded by men of diverse backgrounds on campus to promote unity and community engagement. Josias has been deeply and passionately involved in the Roger Williams community, leading the Multicultural Student Union, serving on the Student Senate, and guiding new students as an orientation advisor, as well as working in the admissions office and financial aid. Josias led MSU both as vice president and president with impressive energy and sagacity, under his leadership, MSU has become a widely known and positively regarded campus club, and more and more students have joined and attended several of the events that have been so successfully put together by Josias and his team. He has directed his academic efforts in a similar direction, completing an internship with Bremer Law and Associates, working with assistant paralegals in supporting immigrants as they progress through the legal system. Josias wrote his senior thesis as an investigation of the dehumanization of immigrants and its relation to increasing nationalism, and has always directed his scholarly energies towards researching how the most marginalized people in American society interact with systems and attitudes that deeply affect their lives. Professors and students have consistently identified Josias as a member of the Roger Williams community who will give his all to support those around him. And although he is unassuming, he's always looking for opportunities to engage other students on topics of great importance. This speaks to one of his greatest qualities. He is a curious person, he listens with empathy, and he treats everybody with respect. He holds that respect during difficult conversations, and his passion and political interests are always, always informed and guided by the community that he surrounds himself with. This skill comes from years of first-hand experiences of the challenges that people face and is the basis of a character formed by the courage and sacrifice of his immigrant parents, of whom he is immensely proud. I have had the great pleasure of Josias's presence in several of my own classes, and I finished with a paragraph I wrote in his letter of recommendation to law school. Josias is the full package. Brilliant, dedicated, and able to perform at the highest academic levels. That, alongside his kindness, empathy, and quiet but forceful leadership skills, make him a brilliant prospect wherever he goes. Roger Williams has been lucky to have him. As a school, we are delighted and honored to award the Presidential Core Values Medallion to Josias Kiroa. Thank you, Dr. Hackley. This year's graduates indicated their preference to hear from a member of the faculty as they prepare for their lives beyond our campus. It is my pleasure to call Dr. Paul Webb, Professor of Biology, to the podium. Since he began teaching at the university in 1999, Professor Webb has been a very appreciable presence at RWU. He has brought good humor, approachability, and dedication to student learning into the classroom. These attributes, combined with Professor Webb's consistent and ongoing quest to learn new teaching strategies and infuse them into his classes, are appreciated by his students. 
As a student in a recent oceanography class put it, quote, Dr. Webb is enthusiastic, humorous, and phenomenally well-versed in the subject matter. He made it very easy to stay engaged with humor without distracting from understanding. Dr. Webb is easily one of the greatest professors I have had at Roger Williams. It comes as no surprise, therefore, that Professor Webb has been awarded Professor of the Semester on numerous occasions by RWU students. A major scholarly undertaking has been Professor Webb's creation of an open educational resource textbook for an introductory course in oceanography taken by marine biology majors. He has used the text in all of the sections of oceanography he teaches, and notably, the text has been used by colleagues teaching oceanography at RWU, as well as at other institutions around the country. One RWU student reviewed the textbook thus, the online book is very helpful and not too long. Just like my speech. Yep, welcome Professor Webb. All right, well first off, congratulations, you made it. Uh, so in, in the past, for a faculty member to speak at commencement, they had to win the Excellence in Teaching Award. And obviously I have not done that. Uh, congratulations, Joseph, though. Um, for me, I had a, a little bit of an easier path getting here today. Uh, I just needed their first choice to turn down the uh, invitation. Looking at you, Cliff Timpson. Uh, and so here I am. But I did tell my parents that I'm making a speech because I did win the teaching award. So if you see them, don't say anything. They're super proud. I don't, I don't want to spoil the, uh, spoil the effect. Right? So, so let's get to it. What does it mean to be an educated person in the 21st century? I don't know. And that sounds like a pretty tedious speech. So, I know all of you are very anxious to get your degrees, go celebrate with your friends and family. And the last thing that any of you want, especially those that have had my classes before, is one more lecture from, from a faculty member. And frankly, if we haven't prepared you for post-college life over the last four years, there's nothing I can say in the next two minutes that is gonna change anything. So those that know me well know that behind this facade of a mediocre scientist, beats the heart of a poet. <laughs> so instead of a speech, I have composed an ode to the class of 2023. <laughs> it was either that or a song, and nobody wants that. All right, so my ode to the class of 2023. You arrived fall 19 with some hopes and some dreams, excited for what college would be. A fresh start, some new buds, exciting classes and clubs, and the occasional weekend party. <laughs> you made friends quite fast with your two roommates from Mass, built for two, but your room's housing three. You unloaded the van, said goodbye to the fam, and joined the class of 2023. But before that year ended, your plans were amended with a pandemic we didn't foresee. You had to learn from your room, taking classes on Zoom with classmates you rarely could see. So in isolation, you pursued your vocation, trying to keep your GPA close to three. And what saved all your asses was pass-fail for those classes the spring of 2020. The next year's improved and you got in your groove as we regained some normalcy. You joined MSU, CEN, Saga 2, and your teams won the CCC. Hogwarts harmonies were complex, Howie's pushed for safe sex, and national champions in women's rugby. Twice. Yeah. And as they broke from their scrum, the players all sung, we're the class of 2023. Racy Stacy gave advice. Your apartment had mice. In the commons, you ate more than you need. And when you felt too much stress, you'd make an egress, hit the beach to smoke a little cigarette. <laughs> your parties got busted by the RAs you trusted. Your roommates wouldn't clean up their debris. And in the gym, your best flex failed to win back your ex. 
so sad, class of 2023. <laughs> but you studied into the night, saw your ideas take flight, wrote a paper using chat GPT. <laughs> Did a literature search for your thesis research and you toiled in the laboratory. All while playing on sports teams, juggling jobs, sharing memes, earning work study to cover your fees. Now all us proud saps in our gowns and our caps tip our hats to the class of 23. From Speakman and Moskowitz, <laughs> Hagley and Roberts, you learned public policy. Aunt Soch was your fave, and you do nothing but rave about Rothschild and Hyder Ali. <laughs> Both Turner and Brooks made you hit the books, <laughs> opening windows into your psyche. Let's hope reading all that Freud will now help get you employed as a class of 2023. You sampled life in the brine with Weiser and Rhine, exploring worlds that live under the seas. Many genes were transcribed with Marston by your side as you decoded C's, T's, A's, and G's. Breen taught chemistry with ease, and advanced math was a breeze in classes with Ed Doherty. Sure, organic was rough, but you students stood tough because you're the class of 2023. And outside this bubble, the world saw some trouble. Chris Rock slapped on live TV. <laughs> BLM, January 6th, the war in Ukraine, and hashtag free Britney. <laughs> Britney Spears, Britney Griner, take a pick. Right? The overturning of Roe, the rise and fall of crypto, and the implosion of Kanye. Sorry, ye. <laughs> the years have seemed long, but you've all come out strong because you're the class of 2023. So Alyssa Diaz, <laughs> Kylie Hills, Matt McBride, Joshua Peck, Jenna Colantoni, Jesse Sands, Emma Place, Ezra Miller, Mia Cruz, Danny Cook, and Noah Shoudy. Zachary Quirk, Robbie Burns, Danielle Reynolds, Emma Dunn, and Kaylee Devaney. And of course, all the rest, you all passed the test as a class of 2023. Now, it may not be clear where you all go from here, get a job, start on your PhD, or take some time to yourself for your own mental health grab a surfboard, head to Fiji. <laughs> Whether moving back home or heading out on your own or joining the family, company, use all you have learned and the degree you have earned as a class of 2023. But there's still work to do and we're calling on you to be the difference that you want to see. Resist hate, stand for truth, and never allow another Buffalo, Uvalde, Tennessee, Try to heal the division and spread more respect for letting people live as they want to be. Is this a lot to ask? Yes, but you're up to the task because you're the class of 2023. All right. Finally, as you depart for your life's brand new start, some advice that I hope you will heed. Remember one real true love beats 10,000 likes you might get in your Insta feed. <laughs> Go forth and do good, achieve all that you could, and live the life that you want to lead. And I think we have cause for another round of applause for the class of 2023. In the true spirit of the liberal arts, a scientist composes and delivers an ode to the class. <laughs> Thanks very much, Paul. All right, now it's time to get to what you're really here for. We're going to confer academic degrees upon the class of 2023. Candidates for the bachelor's degree wear a hood signifying their graduation 
the degree in permanent connection to Roger Williams University community. These hoods bear the RW colors, white and light blue. First, I'd like to acknowledge those students who have the distinction of graduating with honors. Would all students graduating cum laude, with a cumulative, cumulative grade point average of 3.4, please stand if you are able. Will all students graduating magna cum laude with a cumulative GPA of 3.6 please stand if you are able. And finally, will students graduating summa cum laude with a cumulative GPA average of 3.8 please stand if you are able. To all of our academic honors recipients, your hard work and commitment to academic excellence are to be commended, and we're proud of your accomplishments. We'll now begin the conferral of degrees. Students will be asked to come forward to the platform by degree program and be recognized individually on the stage. This will begin uh, in just a few moments. Will candidates for the degree in the Feinstein School of Social and Natural Sciences, all of you rise, all of you rise. I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. <laughs> candidates for, you may be seated. Candidates for master's degrees today will be hooded by the School Psychology Department Graduate Program Director as they process for their degrees. The formal hooding of students receiving advanced degrees is a centuries-old practice and signifies student achievements in their chosen field of study. Master's student hoods include a wide velvet band of a color denoting the academic area in which their degree is hold, held. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Forensic Mental Health Counseling and candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Forensic and Legal Psychology come forward to the foot of the stairs of the stage? Calice <laughs> Augusto. Alison Beth Klein. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Doherty. Christiana Cloutier. Brian St. Pierre. Anna Baldwin. <laughs> Michaela Calcagni.
Felix Osaran Osagi Ekaviar Jr. Mackenzie Lee Walk. Amanda Gabrielle Riello. Zachary T. Quirk. Cheyenne Stephanie McConnell Sawyers. Samara Lynn Gallion. Shayna Grenevel Jeanette. Jordan Thompson. Christopher Robert Downs. Alexis Lynn Callahan. Zoe Sweat. Elizabeth Hope Naus. Kelsey Renee Fiffen. Sophia Diane Marino. Gabrielle Marie Tambini. Madison McKelvey. <laughs> Anna Vogel. <laughs> Mackenzie Marie Cataldo. Morgan Elizabeth DeMeo. <laughs> Rachel Ray Candelaria. <laughs> Lynn 
Lindsay Beth Sheldon. Madison Ray Hopkins. Victoria Ann Perino. Those are our candidates in Masters of Arts for Forensic Mental Health Counseling. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology and Sociology come forward to the foot of the stage at stairs left? And I ask Professor Teal Rothschild, Chair of the Department of Anthropology and Sociology, to come to the podium. Geraldine Mabel Ramirez, Bachelor of Arts, Anthrosociology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Cody Robert Berube, Bachelor of Arts, Anthrosociology. <laughs> Tobias PD. Sorry. <laughs> Tobias Peedy, Bachelor of Arts, Anthrosociology. Summa cum laude. <laughs> Angela M. Fiorella, Bachelor of Arts, Anthrosociology, cum laude. <laughs> Renee Elizabeth St. John, BA Anthropology and Sociology. Kaylee Christie Fina, Bachelor of Science, Legal Studies, Anthro Sociology. Will candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science in Biology, Marine Biology, or Environmental Science come forward to the foot of the stairs at stage left? And I ask Professor Brian Weiser to the podium. Cassidy Jane Pillett, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Natalie Ann Main, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Katie Elizabeth McCain, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Aquaculture and Aquarium Sciences. <laughs> Mia Alexandra Cruz, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. <laughs> Stephanie L. Venditti, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology, Aquaculture and Aquarium Sciences. <laughs> Catherine Leah Niziak, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Environmental Science. Cassandra Helene Ceresia, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology, Aquaculture and Aquarium Sciences, Chemistry, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Jenna Elizabeth Colantoni, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Daniel Robert Cook, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Coleman J. Pushler, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Alexander Matthew Beale, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Andrew James Choi, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Benjamin David Chason, 
Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Matthew Thomas McBride, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Taylor Nicole Myers, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Ashana Flordelis, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Alison Hope Schmid Schmedeke. Alison Hope Schmedeke, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. <laughs> Veronica Marie Olet, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. <laughs> Brianna Justine Simmons, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. <laughs> Emily Maureen Leonard, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Kaylee Devaney, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. <laughs> Samuel O. Aquavia, Bachelor of Arts, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science. Communications and Media Studies. <laughs> Anya Pamela Farisen, Bachelor of Arts, Aquarium and Aquarium Science. Cole Barton Judkins, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Aquaculture and Aquarium Science Economics. Shannon Kimberly Agonis, Bachelor of Science Biology. Samantha Lario, Bachelor of Science Biology. Lauren H. McAllister, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Maya E. Busek, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science, Cum Laude. <laughs> Andrea Kristen Cashin, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Maggie Elizabeth Stefanowitz, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Carly Ann Gross, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Elizabeth Bridget Allen, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Victoria Lynn Freitas, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Jacob Ryan Rushlow, Bachelor of Science Biology. Cassandra Pagan Dubois, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology, Computer Science. <laughs> Magna Cum Laude. Aidan Brian Houlihan, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Aidan James Schreiner. Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Cum Laude. Nathan Andrew Watlington, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Elizabeth Sassana, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Rene Gonnaire, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. Casey Marie Dunbar, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Sandra K. Remsen, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Emma Dunbar Place, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Molly Elstrom Matthews. Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Heather I. Coy, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Marielle Jane McGovern, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Summa Cum Laude. Lauren H. Messner, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. 
Anna Mitchell, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Environmental Chem, magna cum laude. Tegan Bellito, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Environmental Chemistry, cum laude. <laughs> Benjamin Carolan, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science, summa cum laude. <laughs> Trayvon Tyler Edwards, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Taylor Lynn Child, Bachelor of Science Biology, summa cum laude. Anna Riley Franklin, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology, cum laude. Kevin Luca, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Hey, Kevin, I know him, I know him. Right. Robert David Burns, Bachelor of Arts, Marine Biology. Savannah Ziba, Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Francesca Giulia Pisanzio, Pisanzio, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Grace Ann Forestier, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science. Nicole Kylie Rosa, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Yali Marie Ortiz Espinel, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Finn Doherty, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Cum Laude. Samantha Cora Soares, Bachelor of Arts, Biology, Magna Cum Laude. Cara Ann Morin, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Abby Lynn Marnick, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Carter Ryan McLaughlin, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Lauren Megan Kelly, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science. <laughs> Hilary Elspeth McDonald, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Liam Joseph Engel, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science. <laughs> Riley Joseph Fennessy, Bachelor of Arts, Environmental Science. Owen S. Bucklin. Bachelor of Arts, Individualized Major in Conservation and Sustainability Studies. Monet Hines, BS Biology, Cum Laude. Benjamin Luca Giraud, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science. Jessica Ann Robichaud, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Nicole Yamorski, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Sarah A. Fabiano, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Chemistry, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephanie Ann Schultz, Bachelor of Arts, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science, Educational Studies, Cum Laude. Will candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science in Chemistry or Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry? Well, I guess you're already here. You're at the stage. I ask Professor Stephen O'Shea, Chair of the Department of Chemistry and Physics, to come to the podium, and he's already here. Let's go. Jamie Michelle Gretarex, Bachelor of Science Biochemistry, cum laude. Isabel Paris August, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry. Jared A. Severo, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry, Biology. 
Grace Elizabeth Miller, Bachelor of Arts, Aquaculture and Aquarium Science, magna cum laude. Kimberly Ann Bousset, Bachelor of Science, summa cum laude. Ezra Miller, Bachelor of Science, Mathemati Mathematics, cum laude. Somehow we segue directly into math. All right, so these are candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics or Applied Mathematics, and we have Professor Ed Doherty here at the podium to congratulate the graduates. And so we've already had this one fellow come by and come by again. He's back, Ezra Miller, you get Bachelor graduate. of Science, Mathematics, cum laude. <laughs> Jasmine A. Levitt, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics. Brian Bhutan Jr., Bachelor of Arts. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> okay, we now have candidates for a degree of a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science or a Bachelor of Arts in International Relations. We have Professor Joseph Roberts, the chair of the department and winner of this year's Excellence in Teaching Award at the podium. Brian Bhutan, Jr., Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Thomas Christopher Kilburn, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Josias Emmanuel Kiroa, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Brett McDonald, yeah. Bachelor of Arts, International Relations. Woo! Josiah Poff, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations. Patrick Hanna Ogden, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations. Andrea Margarita, Ariago Cota, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Noah Frederick Shaudi, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Reem Bensadok, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Alia Kalalib Ashabi, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Magna Cum Laude. Rachel H. Dutcher, Bachelor of Arts, International Relations, Summa Cum Laude. Madison A. Dent, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Ashley Renee Bartles, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. David Michael Finnegan, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, cum laude. Jessica Marie Taddeo, BA dual degree, Political Science and Philosophy, summa cum laude. Jackson Graham Lauer, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Economics, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Ryan Frederick and Cannon, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science and History, Cum Laude. Eva Marie Gertz, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Emma Rose Trahan, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science, Summa Cum Laude. Psychologist. Will candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Psychology come forward to the foot of the stairs at stage left? 
I ask Professor Aaron Tooley, Chair of the Department, to come to the podium. Alyssa Liana Diaz, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Hannah Michelle Leslie, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Emily Goff, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jenna Rose Galassa, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Marcella Marie Collado, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Heather Shannon Madalena, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jenna Marie Kehoe, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Samantha Zarcone, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Emma Gail Dunn, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Jenna Caitlin Cormea, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jesse Churgin Sands, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Devin Raymond Thiessen, Bachelor of Arts, Cum Laude. Charlotte Russell, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology and Public Health, Magna Cum Laude. Leah Hannon, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Danielle Donahue Reynolds, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Malia Lauren Jeffrey. Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Audrey Rose LeBlanc, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Lily Rudzinska, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Julie Marie Koperniak, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Bridget Elizabeth Grealish, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Emily Margaret Sagrita, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Jessica Yunmei Scalisi, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Braylon Gabriel Ash, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Christina Rose Mazzarella, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Cale Patrick Langdon, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Maysera Capadwala, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Jessica Trujillo, Mas Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Alyssa Rose Malson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Scott Gordon Matson, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Andrea Sophia Breck, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Dante T. Sametti, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Sarah E. Cross, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emily Sebastiana Mazzotti, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Aidan J. Kunert, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Kyle L. Tartiglia, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. 
Rihanna Haley Flores, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Alison Elizabeth Rickert, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Madison Quattrini, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Michelle May, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Emily Catherine Bennett, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Gwyneth Carol Sieber, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Samantha Marie Gregory, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Megan Elizabeth Doherty, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Simrat Kaur Dilon, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jordan Elizabeth Sweeney, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Maeve C. Haldman, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Summa Cum Laude. Zachary Shaw Abbott, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Cum Laude. Jorge Sikan, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Olivia Jean Ufwe, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Matthew Dario Mercado, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Matthew Elliot Glynn, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jordan Ronald Smith, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jordan Daniel Peck, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Joshua Preston Gallardo and Demetria, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Kendra Elizabeth Barnard, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Will the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science in Public Health come forward to the foot of the stairs at the stage left? Professor Jacqueline Powell, Chair of the Department of Public Health, is now at the podium. Sarah Lipinski, Bachelor of Science, Public Health, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Kylie Grace Hills, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Mary Teresa Larilla, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Kate M. Tenney, Bachelor of Science, Public Health. Grace Isla Guy, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Riley Margaret Clyde, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health, Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. Jamie Marie Silviera, Bachelor of Science, Public Health, Magna Cum Laude. Grace Waite Woodcock, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health, Cum Laude. Veronica Marie de la Cruz, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Zoe Relly Morrow, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Caroline Bodwin Alexander, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health. Gabriella Rose Poulin, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Public Health.
Lila Say, Bachelor of Science, Public Health, Cum Laude. All right, we miss anybody? Never got your degree? All right. At this point, we honor a member of the faculty who was chosen to retire from the university. I ask Professor Cliff Timpson to approach the podium. <laughs> Professor Cliff Timpson. Over the 29 years you have served on the faculty in the Department of Chemistry and Physics, you have embodied the Roger Williams University ethos that, as a department colleague notes, quote, students are our primary product. Indeed, numerous students are regularly seen lined up your, outside your office door in MS happily, I repeat, happily, awaiting a chance to seek extra help, engage with research questions, and receive larger lessons from you regarded learning and life. At all levels of the chemistry curriculum, you create, a, you create a nurturing classroom environment. A senior student taking your recent laboratory course, laboratory course in inorganic chemistry commented, quote, I have a fear of being called on in class, but this class is the first that I felt it helped my learning instead of getting in the way of me only being focused on being called on. Your reputation of having high expectations for your students passion for the material and dedication to go to whatever lengths necessary to facilitate their learning established you as one of the pillars of our introductory chemistry sequence. As a first year student in a recent general chemistry class put it, quote, Dr. T is an amazing teacher and taught us in a way that was engaging and he really cared about all of us. He didn't want anyone to fail and gave many opportunities to succeed. It comes as no surprise, therefore, that you received two outstanding teaching awards bestowed by students firstly on the main campus in Bristol and the second awarded by those in the University Open 4 Plus 1 program. You've maintained an active and productive student-focused research program during your time at RWU and in collaboration with department colleague Cliff Murphy received the first scientific patent at the university, thus expanding the reach of recognition for both your department and the university. As one of your MNS colleagues points out, you also may be individually responsible for more people knowing about the existence of ruthenium, ruthenium is that right? than anyone in New England. Ruthenium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your mentorship, or perhaps more accurately, stewardship, of many former research students extends long beyond their time on campus and has resulted in remarkably strong ties between the department, the university, and its alumni. This is perhaps best exemplified by the endowment established by the Galliardi family in recognition of the mentoring and close personal relationship you established with Dr. Chris Galliardi, an RWU student and now RWU trustee. The Galliardi family distinguished seminar series allows our students to interact with distinguished scientists in informal settings, while the more recently established Galliardi career panel allows students to learn from their myriad career pathways graduates have, RWU graduates have walked since they earned their degree. Your colleagues in the department and MNS speak with affection and respect as they describe your easygoing good humor, passion for your discipline, and our ability to articulate it with a beer culture class in Europe, rapport with students, and common sense approach to the important leadership roles you have undertaken during your time at RWU. In recognition of your achievements and service to the university and by action of the Board of Trustees, is my distinct pleasure to award you the rank of Professor of Chemistry Emeritus. We will find it difficult to fill the space you leave behind. Congratulations. These are my closing remarks, so we're almost finished. As dean, I've been and continue to be a tireless messenger for the value and relevancy of a student-centered experiential education that provides connections between the college learning experience and the world beyond campus. Graduates, the four years that have elapsed since you arrived have provided an exceptional and expanded opportunity for just that education. You've cared for each other trusted each other, 
and learn to be respectful and resilient. These attributes are devoutly to be wished for in any global citizen, perhaps most especially now. In a baccalaureate address given to graduates of the University of the South last weekend, author Margaret Rankle muses on what, if anything, a member of our generation, which, and I quote, wrecked so much that is precious, could offer today's graduates in the way of advice. She concluded, and I quote again, you will be prepared for whatever challenges may come your way if you remember only two things. The world is beautiful. People are good. RW class of 2023, you have the tools to live that advice and impact society in meaningful ways. And in this spring season of renewal, this fact gives me great hope. We are proud of you. Keep in touch. On behalf of the university, thank you all for joining us here today and celebrating these commencement exercises. Please stand and remain at your seats until all members of the recessional, including our graduates, have exited the tent. I invite everyone to remain after the recessional to visit with school faculty and staff. <laughs>